Well, hello everyone, welcome back with another video. So yeah, uh, this is a test video uh, for my new YouTube project in which I'll be making some uh, educational videos regarding to my electrical engineering subjects which I've studied back in my uh, bachelor's and a few subjects that I'm having a good command on which I'm currently studying in my master's degree as well. So yeah, uh, let's get started. So the first subject that I'm targeting here is the fundamental of electrical power. And the first uh, slide, the first topic is power generation and introduction and electrical energy crisis in Pakistan and remedial suggestions. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first topic is that importance of electrical energy and that has having a supplementary topic, which is electrical energy. All right, let's discuss about it. So it says that uh, we need energy in various forms uh, like heat, light, etc. The development of new technology has made it possible to convert electrical energy into any form of energy. Well, yeah, uh, we've been, you know, discussing this thing since our uh, junior grades that uh, the energy cannot be created nor be destroyed. But yeah, it can be converted from one form to another form. So uh, it's saying the same thing right here that uh, there are various methods in the world which are been which have been already created that uh, how you can convert the energy from one form to another form and how can you, you know, uh, generate, uh, not generate electricity, but yeah, of course, generate electricity. So basically the generation of electricity, uh, say for example, if you take the example of solar panels, so the solar, solar panels are not basically generating electricity, they are just you know, changing the one form of electricity into another form of electricity, uh, which is that uh, the solar energy, the light energy is being converted into the chemical energy and the chemical energy is being converted into electrical energy because uh, as we know that uh, in solar panels we have uh, uh, the plating, the you know uh, mono or in the poly plating of uh, silicon uh, material, all right? And yeah, so forth. Okay, so let's get on to another point. So energy exists in the different forms in nature, but uh, the most important form is electrical energy. The running of the modern industrial structure depends on the low cost and uninterruptible supply of electricity. Well, yeah, energy exists in a lot of other forms, uh, in a lot of other forms like you know caloric energy, and mechanical energy, chemical energy, and a lot of stuff. But what if these all forms of energy can be converted into electrical energy? And we know that today the industry, the commercial for the commercial purposes and for the, res the residential purposes, the modern form of the energy is the electrical energy. And uh, and electric energy basically, uh, it it should be supplied to wherever it is being used, utilized, and needed in an uninterrupted form. It's very important, okay? Now, uh, coming to the last point, country is developed if per capita consumption of electrical energy is much higher. Exactly, now this is a very important point. Now, yeah, this is a very important point, actually, uh, uh, because we see this thing that uh, the country who consumes more electricity is to be considered the one of the very advanced and developed countries, or maybe you know, uh, having a superior value in those countries which are already developed or which are underdeveloped countries or developing countries yet. So yeah, this thing really matters a lot. You know, say for example, I just want to give you an example. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to go uh, for a little example. So yeah, uh, per capita income via electricity, oops, sorry, electricity consumption. All right, let's see. All right, so what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna click at the first link and let's see what kind of data they have. All right, so this is a website of the World Bank and these are the statistics that are coming of uh, around the world. And yeah, the y-axis is gonna show us the thousands kilowatt per capita and uh, the x-axis is going to show us all the years, like since 1960 till 2014. I think they have the data until 2014. Okay, so yeah, uh, Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, uh, Angola, Argentina, I mean, like, there are a lot of countries who are showing that kilowatt hour, who has the more consumption of electricity per capita, okay? So you see, uh, now, just taking just taking an example of a country, just like Bahrain. We know the Bahrain is a kind of a, well, it's, it's still underdeveloped country. Uh, it's developing country yet, and uh, it is having a very good amount of usage of electricity, and that means that the country is also doing a re really great job, okay? And okay, let's, uh, you know, let's search for United States, okay? So to search United States, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control F, and I'm gonna search United, okay? 
United States. All right, here you go. United States is doing 12,000. United Arab Emirates is doing 11,000 something. Yeah, they have a lot of industries going on. And uh, what about, let's search for Canada. Let's see how the Canada is doing. Because these are one of the developed countries. All right, here you go. Canada is doing 15,000 kilowatt per hour uh, capita. So yeah, I think you guys just got an idea that uh, how does the uh, country is developed if the per capita consumption of electricity is much higher. So you understood the point, that what this point actually means. Okay, now uh, going through the second line, uh, the second topic. Electrical energy is considered to be the superior over the other energy forms because of the following facts. All right, now we're going to study about some facts. The facts are convenient energy form. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can be readily converted from one form to into any other form. Okay, for example, we know that the bulb glows when the electricity passes through it. It is the cons conversion of electrical energy into light energy. A wire gets heated when the current passes through it for a long time. And it is conversion of electric energy into the heat energy and so on. Ah, yeah, exactly. So you get an idea that convenient uh, energy form, that the electrical energy is considered to be, you know, very uh, such a convenient form of electricity that can be converted into other forms as well. Just like, you know, we use electric bulbs. So the electric energy can be converted into the light energy. And, uh, and you have seen that, uh, you have observed that uh, these old 100 watts or 200 watts or maybe 250 watts uh, bulbs, the one uh, with the one having aragon gas in them. So they used to you know, also discharge some heat as well at the same time. Uh, just, take, just take an example of yellow light. So yeah, uh, ex and let's take an example of a uh, refrigerator. Let's take an example of micro oven. So yeah, the electricity, the electric energy is being converted into radiation energy, and the radiation energy is basically uh, the heat energy which is being uh, generated from the microwave. We're going to discuss about that later. Yep. Uh, another slide. It says that easiness to control, flexibility, cheapness, and cleanness. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to go through all of them in my final video, which I'm going to upload on YouTube. This is the test video. And yep, want your suggestions that how is the idea of doing so. And yeah, see you with another video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.